You know, it only seems right. A family that was divided at Christmas should find itself together once again at Christmas. That's right. Here's Ivan's news reporter, Kevin Rader, with a story tonight from Russia with love. Yeah, Uncle Scott needs to sit on the couch, too. Christmas is generally a time for the family to get together. With modern-day technology, all things seem possible. But there are some barriers that even Facebook, Twitter, and Skype can't cross. I'm Brad. I'm Kyle. Kyle? Hi, Lauren. <laughs> the nervous laughter reveals how the three really feel. Here, Brad and Kyle McCullough sit on the couch with their sister, Lauren Beasley. The McCulloughs, age 14 and 13, live in Indianapolis. Lauren, age 18, in Pittsburgh. They were all adopted from an orphanage in Russia, but by different families. The boys on Christmas Day 2002. So who would know they would all start their new lives in Indiana? I wouldn't let them out of my sight. I was mother hen. I loved them and I wanted them to be protected. Um, and so now seeing them grow up is amazing with a good family. Um, it's, and it's amazing that we live 30 minutes away from each other. They act alike. They say things alike. It's, it's kind of freaky. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have all the typical brother-sister stuff? Oh, yeah. 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 Like what? Give me some examples. Oh, <laughs> Friday. <laughs> We're very happy to see three of you together. Now you sense by the beaming that the family is about to take another very big step. There is so much, I don't know where to start. They're about to be reunited with two older siblings they left behind. Alana <laughs> and Sasha. Today was the first day the five of them have been reunited. To see their faces when they first saw each other. I mean, my husband and I were crying. It was just beautiful. Do we look like how we imaged, imagined. imagined us as grown kids? When Sasha was your age, he looked so much like you. They asked about interests. Sasha, do you play any sports? They asked about schools, jobs. Favorite foods. Do they eat a lot of borscht? There was brief discussion about their grandmother, who is still alive in Russia. She's 61. No discussion about the neglect that tore the family apart. I knew it would stir up some memories for Lauren and some not so good memories, but also um, memories that she had probably pushed away for a long time. We are very, very, very happy to find you and to be in touch with you and we hope to see you and meet you in person. We can't wait. We can't wait. <laughs> now there's talk of a family reunion here in America, but first, a promise. And we will try very hard to learn English so it would be easier for us to communicate and talk to each other more often. And we will learn Russian. He's playing uh, soccer with his friends. I was excited because I could like because I didn't remember anything from Russia, so I could, like, get to know my past better. Uh, Alona looked just like Lauren, and Shasha just looked like Brad. And it was exciting to see them. I was excited. Uh, I, was, I was nervous about it, but I was really excited. Yeah, to Balu Blue. Yeah, to Blue. I love you all, too. They say their farewells in the language everyone can understand. They blow each other a kiss. <laughs> so the family that was divided at Christmas One, two, three, two. has found each other once again at Christmas, proving once again the power of family. Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Yata Balavu. There you go. I love you. Oh, my gosh. I just want to tell you. It's a nice up. story for this time of year. Absolutely. It's all about family.